brand new video this morning. You're looking at the USS Michigan, a nuclear powered submarine capable of carrying about 150 Tomahawk missiles as it arrived in South Korean waters today. The arrival, the first of its kind in six years, is part of a recent agreement between the U.S. and South Korea to increase the U.S.'s presence along the Korean Peninsula. Now that the USS Michigan is there, the two countries' navies will conduct drills meant to boost their special operations capabilities. The arrival comes just a day after U.S. and South Korean troops conducted large-scale joint live-fire drills at a firing range in South Korea. The point of all of this is to counteract the growing threat of North Korea's advancing nuclear program. The North launched two short-range ballistic missiles off its east coast Thursday in protest of the live-fire drills. These launches are a clear violation of multiple UN Security Council resolutions. <clears throat> they demonstrate the threat of DPRK's unlawful weapons of mass destruction and ballistic missile uh, <clears throat> programs posed to the region, to international peace and security, and to the global nonproliferation regime. Thanks for watching. In this time of media mistrust, Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact based reporting. It's the way news should be. Welcome to trustworthy journalism. Join us at straightarrownews.com.